Okay guys, what is going on? Welcome to part 3 of the Vita modding series. And we just got our Vita on 3.60, the money firmware, the golden boy of PS Vita firmwares. And we are currently stock again. We have gone from a modded Vita to stock, but trust me, it will all be worth it in the end, alright? Uh, this is, uh, is going to be pretty easy. So we're going to start with installing Hikatu. So we're going to load up our browser here. Oh, Japanese, no. And we're going to enter an address. We're going to go to... That is the address, my dudes. HTTP Hikatu dot XYZ. Enter. Very nice. Once we're in here, we're going to click install. About to void our warranty, whatever. We're living on the wild side here. Okay. So we did get an error. But. Seemed to work out just fine. Okay, so if yours installed like mine and you did not install it didn't install molecular shell uh, that's not a problem just come into settings make sure you got um, Henkatu just go ahead and enable unsafe homebrew here molecular shell is essentially just an older version of Vita shell so it's a big old uh, big old whatever not a big deal. Uh, let's get Enzo installed. So we have a permanently modded PS Vita, all right? Okay, so we're back on our computer. Go ahead. Click the link down in the description. Uh, to the Go to the latest Enzo.VPK. We're going to download that. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my Vita folder here. Okay, we got it. Now we're gonna want to boot up Vita Shell on our PS Vita. Okay, so we're gonna load up that Vita Shell, start it up. And let's see if our settings are still enabled. We're gonna push select, and there we go. Still in FTP mode, so we can go ahead and go back to our PC. We want to transfer this VPK over to our Vita. We'll give it a, a quick connect. Settings are the same. We'll go UX0, data, and Daro VPK and this update file. We're going to go ahead and delete those. We've already used those. That's fine. And we are going to transfer over Enzo VPK. Cool. It's done. Now we go back to our Vita. Ta-da. Okay. X to cancel. We're in UX0. We're going to go to data. So you can see we got this Enzo VPK already here now. I'm going to go ahead hit circle. Install this package, yep. Extended permissions. Would you like to continue the install? Yes. Cool, done. Now I wanna go ahead and hit triangle, go to delete. So we don't have too many VPKs cluttering up our internal memory here. And then we're gonna hit the home button, go home. Whatever. Close this shit. And now we got Enzo, so let's load her up. Look at the molecule, baby. Okay. Okay, go ahead and read the uh, terms and service if you're literate. Uh, press circle to accept for me. 
Okay, so cross, install, reinstall the hack. Triangle to uninstall the hack. Square to fix boot configuration. And then circle will exit without doing anything. So I want to go ahead and hit cross, pop. And the installation was completed successfully. Press any key to reboot. We should get a nice little boot logo here. Oh, look at that, dude. Nice. So that is a fresh restart. Very cool, dudes. Very cool. And now, if you've been paying attention, previously we would have needed to enable the exploit either with HN Core 2 or the molecular shell or whatever um, before any homebrew would work. Now let's try Vita Shell. Cool. Now this would not have worked out the gates after a fresh restart without Enzo. So now we're fully exploited um, running custom firmware round the clock good to go thank you for watching leave a like we're just getting started here we're going to be getting our sd2 vita set up we're going to be installing a free shop um, and a whole lot more in this vita custom firmware series so stick around continue on to the next video and uh yeah talk to you in a second bye bye